Tower Scene on Southern California's only 24-hour news and traffic station, KNX 1070 News Radio. I'm Mike Simpson, and I'm Jim Gordon. Coming up to the latest on deaths of three people at a rave party in Fontana over the weekend. An L.A. restaurant is selling spiked milkshakes. I'm Bloomberg to Lisa Parenti. That story's coming up in five minutes. This is Steve Grant. Dodgers, Angels, both involved in trade deadline deals. You'll hear details in sports in ten minutes. Former L.A. Sheriff Lee Baca, L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca, withdraws his guilty plea and will go to trial. Those stories coming up in the next 15 minutes. The first traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. Here's the Fondo. Your 57 North End has a little trouble right around Pathfinder. A crash left some debris in the road, too. Uh, across, I believe, the second and third lanes from the left. Northbound side's back up. It's just jammed out of Brea. As you make your way into Donovan Bar, 91 eastbound, before the 241, you're on the brakes, and it's slow all the way over to just about the 15 this afternoon. Let's check in with Desmond. He's going to tell us about, all about a very slow drive on that 5 Santa Ana freeway. Yeah, it's going to be really bad over this way. It looks like some kind of emergency road work here on the northbound side of the 5 before Washington with the far right lane is plugged up. As you really frustrated, a very solid brake light now back from the Valley View. Once you can pick up Telegraph, definitely my recommendation is to go along just fine. I'm just doing that for your southbound ride as well, which is started to get you on that path. Uh, this is going to change down Looks like you're on the brakes on that 60 eastbound, uh, headed out of the like Mount Rubido. As you make your way into the Riverside Interchange, it looks like we had a little bit of a crash there. So again, slow traffic on that 60 eastbound and uh, 101 eastbound side slows just about, it looks like about Sherman Oaks. As you make your way over to the Hollywood Interchange with the westbound side slow out of Studio City. As you make your way into Encino this afternoon, your next report at 325 with Southern California's most frequent traffic reports. I'm Denise Fondo, KX 1070 News Radio. Well, everybody, it is uh, a beautiful day out in the Southland. However, it is a bit sticky. We've got high humidity out there, mostly sunny skies. There's the potential for a thunderstorm way off to the east in San Bernardino and Riverside County. Our daytime highs uh, this week are going to be cooling down. We're going to be in the low 80s for the LA Basin and then into the low 90s for our valleys. So that's a nice change. And we keep it on the cooler side all the way through this week before we start warming up again next weekend. By the beginning of next week, the next week, we're work week, we'll be back up into the upper 80s once again. With Southern California's most accurate and dependable forecast, I'm CBS2 Chief Meteorologist Josh Rubenstein, KNX 1070 News Radio. 93 degrees in Chatsworth, 77, Culver City, 88 in Fullerton at 317. Sheriff's officials say two women and a man died after attending a rave over the weekend in Fontana. Two died on Saturday and one on Sunday. It's not yet known what led to the death, but at the same rave last year, two college students died, died of drug overdoses. Virgin Gold.